Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Training here. Today is Tuesday, June 4th. I'll be going to my recap for today. Uh, so I'm up a total of 102 today uh, with uh, four trades uh, on the short side. Um, so let's get started. So AMD. Um, AMD, I saw this, uh, I think it was this five minute, it was extended on the five minute. Um, and I went ahead and short um, this break here at the 24 um, so you can see it's a, a really quick uh, small sh cup and handle uh, I shorted it and then I covered it was a quick little scalp for this measure move um, and uh, also on the five minute uh, test here uh, I ended up bouncing off that and going a little higher uh, I ended up shorting again because um, I started a little early, but my idea was to have this little cup and handle break. Um, I went ahead and short, thinking it would uh, have a fail flag here. Um, but I went in a little early, and I just stopped that when it broke above these highs. Uh, and I actually took a like a forty dollar loss there. Uh, this was a twenty dollar winner. So overall, it's down twenty two for AMD. Uh, FOSL, um, this was a straight up trainer today, uh, then it kind of chopped sideways. Uh, I tried a few times here at this uh, 1145. Um, for some reason, there was like a huge buyer uh, around this area. So you can see it's this 1145 support. It, it held it for quite some time here. Um, and I tried to by short short the break here, uh, but it never went. Uh, end up covering uh, a, a few there, um, and then stopping out. And that was a twenty-three dollar loser. Uh, end up breaking later, but it didn't really um, move the way I liked. So uh, let's skip that. Uh, my other trade was S I E N, so I did two trades uh, on this so I did a, a cup and handle here on this break uh, short it was a quick little scalp it went to test all the way down to VWAP um, and then I saw this here was breaking trend uh, also you can see his cup and handle so I went ahead and short there for this trend break took some off VWAP uh, and then took the rest off of this break here uh, and then started to uh, stop out when it broke above uh, VWAP and this high. So this uh, two short wins here was a total of $130. Uh, SQ, so SQ, I saw it was overextended. I think it was on the five minute. Uh, it went ahead and sh sh tried to short this. Uh, it had a little pop down. Um, and then I covered a few, uh, and then covered a few here. Uh, but then I think this was holding the 15 minute trend. So I stopped that when it hit the 15 minute trend here. Um, so that was a $19 winner on SQ. Um, so that's all I have for today. Um, I've been doing a lot of back tests on my uh, automated strategies that I've been working on. Um, so I've been really busy with that. And I haven't been uh, uploading my um, my videos uh, on a daily basis, but I'll try to do my best to do both tasks. But here's uh, I'm trying to back test a uh, future. Here's a little screenshot of uh, one of my back tests I use on Ninja Trader. So this is uh, a month. Uh, well, this is a month worth of data because this is a micro e micro uh, micro futures uh, of the ES, which is the S and P five hundred. So this is a strategy I'm trying to work on uh, and getting into coding. So I've been spending a lot of time just uh, coding and trying to find strategies that would work um, systemically um, using um, certain criteria and conditions. So trying to 
get into more algorithm trainings um, and hopefully I can find a uh, fine point there um, but as always um, if you like to follow me on that um, I'll try to make some videos uh, right now I started funding uh, a ninja trading account um, and uh, when I find it comfortable I'll start to uh, trade live but right now I'm just using a simulation um, just as a tool uh, so that's all for I have for today. Um, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye-bye.